I think I, well, hey, RK, what the hell how do you explain something like that? How do you? Now, if you can explain it to us, I think we can believe yeah. it. <laughs> All right. Uh, he said that they saw a light here, a green light here, I think it was, and red light here, and then in between a no, glow. A white and blue light. All right, white and blue then. Blue and white and white and black. And then a red glow, and McFadden said is there's sort of a red glow in through here. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this fine and hijacked Friday evening. Uh, and it is hijacked because I've stolen the show from Ollie. It's just me and my friend Hidden Underbelly, which I will be bringing on within seconds because he's off on a romantic trip with his mother. Um, before we get into the thing, remember, you can become a channel member do the channel member thing. Uh, as I said the other week, um, our merchandise, T-shirts like this, drink bottles like that, they will be getting stripped from the store soon. So if you want to get yourself some of those, go and get it quickly. Uh, and we've got a small announcement to make as well. We have been accepted on to Rockfin. Now, the... Um, if you're already a subscriber to Rockfin, I suggest you go and look for Alien Addict and subscribe to our Rockfin. We've got, I've kind of put up like an, um, uh, like a best of selection. The only thing I've missed out so far is like 10, 10 episodes, like 10 of what I thought were, were really good episodes. Um, I will probably put the, um, the one where me and Ollie barbecued um, Third Phase of Moon. Um, I will put that up later on because it was just, fun wasn't it um but the plans plans are in the works the, the shows on youtube will stay the same but plans are in the works for exclusive content on rockfin because it is a free speech platform and you can say all the stuff you can't say on youtube so we can have the we can do the thingy chrome and the breaded pizza fence episodes so without further ado Hidden Underbelly, thank you for coming on the show with me. Whoa, hello, everyone. <laughs> yeah, hello. Um, no, hello, thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, where, wherever he may be. I heard aliens got him. No, I was joking the other day saying, like, I've, I'm just going to change all the passwords. I'm going to change all the passwords on all the accounts. And I'm going to join Third Phase of Moon. And that's that that that's the plan. I'm gonna I'm going for the big books. I'm not I'm not I, I don't need truth. I don't need truth to entertain myself. Um but yeah, no, sure where, wherever he happens to be, I'm sure he's happy. Um he also set he set a title for this episode before he went away. I didn't really think of what we were gonna do with this title, and he called it evidence. So I was thinking the other day, um we we live in a world now of like deep fakes, of um, computer generated AI art. What what evidence do you think it will need in order to in order to stop people just instantly looking at something going that's complete completely fake? I don't think you would ever get that. No, because there's there, there's always Dan and Thomases. I mm -hmm. mean. So the only, the only, the only, I suppose the best piece of evidence is to be there as an eyewitness. Yeah. To say, well, I saw this with my own two eyes. I could smell, see, and touch. 
Mm. But even even when somebody says, "Look, I was there. I saw this," there's going to tell some people that's going to say, "Nah, I don't believe you, man." Uh, how, many well, those, how many of those splifters were you smoking at the time? <laughs> just look at like the likes of the Phoenix Lights. You know, you, you had a mass sighting there, and um, it's it it hangs around for a while, and then. You just you continually see the what like that one video which we've we've seen all the time. Then it kind of turns into folklore, folklore a little bit, and um, it doesn't matter that it was a mass sighting. Now it's just something that happened and is forgotten. Mm. Well, so, I, don't think and, I don't think it's so much forgotten because it it is still talked about. Mm -hmm. It is still talked about, and like they do have anniversaries, don't they? Off off the Phoenix Lights. But like, if, if that was a legit thing that happened, at the you know that should have been that should have been disclosure. You know, when you had a mass sighting of that of that scale. So well, if, if that if, if that if that and if that doesn't cause it, I just I don't know. I don't know what will. Well, I guess it's like what you said. We need something. We need something now. Mm. Something now to happen that we can have a good chat about because all we do is we talk about a lot of old cases. Like my favorite one is the battle over LA. Mm -hmm. I, I love that, and just the mystery, the the mystery behind it all. Because I mean, what they tried to say it was didn't they try and say it was an airship? Yes. But the Navy wasn't the Navy the first to report this, saying, "Look, we can see this object coming over." Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. And then you had all the guns shooting at it. You mm -hmm. had the one still picture, and I believe the negative, the original negative, disappeared. Oh, so because that's something I, I never know with that picture. Cause we obviously everybody in the, in the chat will have seen that a thousand times, but that's kind of got itself into its own meme now, isn't it? Where, where you don't really know whether you're looking at the enhanced picture or even if it's like a complete re like recreation of the original now. If, if I see, I'm trying to remember the story rightly with the negative, but the mm -hmm. guy who took the picture, he put a black dot on it. And then somebody wanted to see the negative. I don't want to, I, I know it's somebody official, but I don't know which alphabet gang wanted to see it. Yeah. But when he got the negative back, the black dot was gone. Mm. So he marked it so he knew it was his. And then he got something back that weren't his. Mm. That's that, that, that reminds me of the sphere. What was the sphere called? The uh, that was that used to that supposedly had strange properties. It was the, the metal ball, the um, a family had it, didn't they? Was it, yeah, the one out in Florida. Yeah, I can't remember what it was called now. I remember it starts I'm, with a B, B N C yeah. or something like that. Somebody in chat would know. Something like that, yeah. Someone in the chat will know. That's the thing. Like if if you've got something special and you get a knock on the door saying, Can we just take a quick look at that? You probably want to say no and shut the door really quickly. The best there you are. yeah. Thank you, Martin. Thank you. And uh, and, and Mr. Ron got it too. Yeah. yeah. Um but yeah, I the I suppose the one we're waiting for now is, I mean, the, the next big thing will be is if this um, Logan Paul stuff comes out. Yeah, I wouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> I think that I think that's definitely coming out. What 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 quality it will be is debatable, but the uh, I I don't know, man. It's like with with let's let's go to my old favorite go to when we talk about people. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so let, it's my cat. When when we go to like say celebrities doing the UFO field, they always turn up a lot of bullshit. And like if if look at look at what say Yuri Geller's doing at the moment, he's doing a great disservice. Look at what Tom DeLonghi does. Mm. And he puts out a new video, and then everybody tells him, "Hold on, mate, this is like seven years old, and it's fake." <laughs> yeah 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 that's it, it just feels um it, it it feels perfect though if for what we're what we've been given so you've got you've had yeah you know, we had james fox going on rogan talking about the fact that logan paul had 
gone and secretly filmed this footage, then on Logan Paul's podcast, he says he has got it. And because it's not the guy's footage and the guy admitted it's not his footage that he can legally put it out. Um, And then he says he wants Bob Lazar to see it, to mm. like, to validate that it. Like, that, that is like 100% in the... um. The, the the current UFO movie, you know, the, that we seem to be in at the moment. Yeah, yeah, it's just constant. It's a constant hype factory mm. rather than just say, okay, even if you don't want to put the video out for legal reasons, surely you can show us still. Yeah, yeah, well, that's this. Oh, no, I don't think it's legal reasons. I mean, he said he wants, he doesn't want to put it out until he can validate it. I'm, I'm not but sure how, can, how, how can, you can, do that. That's, yeah. that's it. How can you validate it? Well, I Just put it out. Put it out. Let the general public. There's there's many the guy armchair... builds hype for a job, doesn't he? The guy that's builds it. hype for a job. That's it. That's it. And 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 eventually we're just gonna get bored. You know, I hope people will wake up to this game because I was what I was gonna say is there's many great armchair sleuths out there mm. that you know we don't know their names. They go by they go by code numbers and stuff like that, but they're very good at what they're doing. And yeah. if you just put it out and let them see it, yeah, I mean that's that's the thing. The if Logan Paul's doing it, he's gonna he he's gonna, and I think he will do it, but he's gonna do it in a way that makes him money. You know, I mean, right? That people can say what they want about that guy, but um, he has an insane work work ethic. When you look at what what he does and and the level he does he performs at the things that he does um and he's also a great businessman you know there's the, it's ridiculous like did you see the pictures of the people like buying that prime drink for people for christmas and it was just <laughs> stores were selling out they were selling it for like a hundred pound a bottle at one point on on the run up i, I do, you, do you remember the 80s b movie the stuff yeah it reminded yeah. me of that like in, <laughs> insanely but yeah, that, that's what I'd be thinking. He, if he's putting that out, he's going to be making some money about it. Uh, Jennifer Sani with, with a super chat here um, uh, points out, Rendlesham Forest uh, military witnesses were not enough to push the subject forward. Um, Rendlesham Forest, I mean, that that those audio clips alone are, um, are pretty, you know, it's, it, it's like you listen to a, to a sci-fi film. And and to be honest, I'm not satisfied with the debunk on it. Well, right. Someone said the other day on I thought I can't remember whether it was you or whether somebody else was. Someone mentioned this like maybe a week or two ago about the Rendlesham Forest case being debunked. I I don't know anything about this debunk. To me, it was still the Rendlesham Forest case. What like it always has been. Okay. So, but what was the debunk about? Well. I, I'll, the nutshell is is that um, they're basically saying that these guys or these military people got together to create this fabricated story mm. and that there were things in the audio that wasn't right and something else, a witness statement or something. Well, I mean, right, if they fake that audio, the great actors, you know, that I'm, I'm not saying the I'm, I'm not saying they were looking at a um a UFO by any st any stretch of the imagination, I, but I'm I believe they believe what they were doing. You know, on, the, on those recordings, they they didn't sound like they didn't sound like people making a story up. I mean, you, you only have to like just before we started this podcast, I was sat in my living room, and um, after what I was watching came on was um, fact or fiction. Remember the old old thing with Riker? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now. The acting in that is terrible because because they're getting like really cheap actors to come in and do all the do the story bits. So even terrible actors are professional actors. You know, even, even these awful actors you see in TV shows are still professional actors. So I, I don't believe that a couple of squaddies that are just on a military base can do a better job than bad actors. Uh, sorry, smoke in my eyes. Sorry, mate. <laughs> yeah, well, I just don't know. I just don't. I mean, I always say like to this, you guys in the chat, what what UFO 
famous UFO sightings do you think is credible? Mm. What convinces you? Firstly, Wonk was a lighthouse. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that. See, see the I, thing, I don't, I don't look at that. As, yeah, I, I don't really look at that as a debunk, just another like a, 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 let's a, throw, a let's theory. Throw, let's throw a dart <laughs> and see if it yeah, hits the yeah. board. No, but I mean, it, it very, it very well could have been that, but because that's, I, I don't, I don't mind taking that. It, but um, good it, one, John. It at least means it was um, there was something there. That 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 was the thing I think I would like to clear up now. With that is get like debunk the fake. You know, so that you, we you can work out what it was or anything else, but the the idea that those guys made it up i think seems seems pretty pretty wild to me the school one is that the uh school with landing marks is that the, was that the south um, african one i think so there, there has there been two at schools i think there's been like two i think there, I think there has one. yeah better the better your barney hill one's a good one because yeah. i mean the <coughs> i've i've listened to some of the audio clips you know of the um, of the hypnosis stuff and Zimbabwe. again that uh that doesn't doesn't to me sound like somebody that's just making something up under hypnosis um you also at that at that time as well you've got exactly. a mixed race couple exactly. i'm not like the last thing you want at that time is more is like attention is more on publicity you. and more attention yeah yeah um i i think that's that to me is probably the biggest thing that that you would You'd look at it to go. I mean, it just it just seems like even like for for, for Barney at that time, uh, even being taken seriously, you know, coming forward with something like that must have been pretty tricky. Mm. But uh, yeah, the someone said the aerial school in Zimbabwe. Mm. Uh, that, that was that was that was um debunked by Mick West as hippies in a vw van <laughs> that, made <me> laugh. <laughs> that made me laugh man <laughs> yeah the, the it's, do you know what i, I wish i'd brought i brought the uh, the picture of it up i saw um i watched the james fox documentary uh last week i don't know if you've seen it yet oh, uh, that that's thing. about the brazil the brazil landing um and I watched it and thought it's it's good. I, I enjoyed I enjoyed it. Like you you had some pretty official people there right, uh, talking about the thing. But then later on, I I think the Y Files just did one. I think that's where I saw it on. It was the Y Files. Um, but apparently there was like a a village, um, like a mentally challenged villager, and they had a picture of him knelt down have you seen this the knelt down against the wall no I, I was just mind blown over ufos he's reminding us it's 420 time <laughs> <laughs> so i'm just not i'm just not in the way at it but have one for me brother have one for me <laughs> <laughs> um and like this picture of the of, of the guy against the wall i wonder if i can I wonder if I can find it and share it with you. Uh, that to me, I, I was thinking to myself like that's that I, I I almost think that debunks that whole case. Um, yeah. Um, wasn't that the one where they? Thank you, John. <laughs> Thank you, man. Smoke in mm -hmm. my honor. That's what we say. Puff, puff, pass. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't wasn't that Brazil one? Didn't they have um? Didn't they have an alien come out and walk around and stuff? Well, this was they... this was the thing. With the, but the um, because you you had the the picture, didn't you, of the of the the little guy right against the wall. Uh, but the. the... <laughs> I was, I was, that's, I was, that's a that's a bit that's a bit like having sand in your vagina. 
Um, oh, God. Yeah, if anyone that's watching this, I won't, I won't spend hours looking at random photographs of um, of dots in the sky trying to find this thing. It's uh, it's on the Y files. You can go look at it now. They, the Y files do great stuff anyway, don't they? So you, you'll probably do what I do when I click on one of their videos and lose a couple of hours watching different ones. Um, but yeah, like the the photograph of this handicapped guy, which was known for being in the village and being sort of out when he shouldn't have been, um, and he the way he was all stooped up against the wall. It looks mm. very much like that photograph, and as somebody turned out uh, pointed out, it was a uh, you know it was a rainy night, and they were saying if, if he was there, if he you know been rolling around in dirt, got covered in mud, and like you know because they they said that he had like black shiny skin, it could have easily uh, uh, easily been mistaken by children. But then again, that doesn't uh, it doesn't explain away the soldier that supposedly picked this thing up and died shortly afterwards um but and i think the problem is when especially when you get let's say like underprivileged con- uh, countries um and then you get western tv crews that come over that say i could really do with someone talking to me about this alien and nobody puts their mm-hmm. hands up and then they say Kind of got some money as well. If anyone wants to talk about this alien, and, and I'm sure all the hands definitely go up. See, see, see. Yeah, I remember seeing aliens. See, see. There's Carlos. He's an alien. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. But, um, yeah, I I kind of think that as far as the uh, evidence thing goes for this, we're going to need... Um, See, unfortunately, it's gonna it's gonna need to be on television, which is instantly it, to to the more discerning eye, gonna uh, gonna cast doubt over it. I think because mm. if, if if there's anything I don't believe, it's probably the news. Mm. And unfortunately, if there's if there will be a mass sighting, well, it will be it will be picked up first on on by the internet mm. because one one good thing about the internet is people post, but then do you believe it because a TikTok now, a lot of sightings are going on there. But because TikTok has such a bad name, even yeah. I, when even I, when I do a video that I've got from TikTok, I always say, "Yes, I got this from TikTok," and I know. But mm. we and have to look at it. Like well, TikTok is perfect for that stuff because it's mm. such short videos, so it um, it cancels out the thing, you know. You know the, the, the thing you see when you see like a thirty-second YouTube video of a UFO, and you'll always go, "Well, why did they stop filming at thirty seconds? Why is it only thirty seconds of this thing?" You only expect thirty seconds on TikTok, mm. so it's it's perfect for that. I mean, the the one that goes uh, comes to my mind was the um, the fake that was all done in like blender or something like that of the tr3b you know the one what's comes through the coming it's coming through the trees and there's a guy like driving along a like a dirt road uh that the, the problem with that was it went on too long because people noticed like myself that the road repeated like the road texture repeated underneath the car and stuff like that and then it the, it kind of disappeared slightly before the video finished as well um but if that had just been a 30 second tiktok and nothing Perfect. else it would have been yeah it would have been like um, millions of views on that one thing okay but that's it's kind of it's that's it's it's what people into into this are going to be up against isn't it indeed it's a terrible it's a terrible thing and then like if you because i always say follow your gut but then your gut is wrong sometimes mm. so what can what <laughs> What can you do? What can you do? You just got to put the footage out and say, look, like, that's what I do. I put it out and say, guys, what do you think? I put my opinion across, but they're solely my opinions. I'm trying. I don't want to sway anybody into thinking where I'm thinking because yeah. I think I think mad things. I, I know that they sound crazy, but they're my beliefs and I own my beliefs. Mm. But but it's 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 a hard game. It's a hard game. And it's 
and it, and, it, and it's sometimes it's annoying because like again i'll refer back to the pilot one that caught that caught that object people were people were saying that it's fake because it's too clear and i'm thinking god what do you want here you whinge when it's when it's when it's blurry and out of focus when it's a nice shot it's too good yeah it, what what can you and that that to me well I don't have to say to me when I first looked at it, I believed it was a real object, but it has been verified. There is no trickery done with that footage. Mm. Right. And like, you know, nobody ever. The reason why the guy was filming is because when they were flying in the plane, they saw the object and they turned the plane to go fly closer to the object. And that's why he started filming at that point. Balls of fucking steel right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then and then what he what he also said this is why the witness account is very very important in these things and what he said was as he flew to it it was stationary and then it shot off mm. and then he's a hundred percent he's a hundred percent and he's he's quoted on saying this that it's not a balloon because if it was a balloon how close it got to the plane it would have been caught up in with the plane turbulence yeah I did. Well, see, that was when I first saw it. Um, my head in instantly went to hoax, but probably not for any other good reason. To be perfectly honest, um, it, but it was more. It, it was more the thought that if because it looks like it comes in and banks and comes close and then goes out. I did think to myself, well, surely the plane would have got some sort of turbulence from that. Um, but in, I, I know that now it's been. Like verified as, like you say, it's a hundred percent genuine. There is something, wh wh whatever it is, it's an, ob an object. It is an object, yeah. I, I, I at very least, I don't believe it's a balloon because that that's it's a hundred percent right. That was so close to that plane, it would have been sucked into the propellers. Yeah, yeah, and that's and that that to me, I mean, he's it's it, uh, he's very. He, to me, he's very credible because he's not shying away. Unfortunately, because I would love to get an interview with him, but it seems like he's he's. It seems like he only speaks Spanish, mm. because um, I know Jaime's had him on his on his show, interviewed him. I mean, say what you want about Jaime. Jaime's another one though. He throws darts at um. He throws darts at the board. Some hit, some don't. Yep. And this one hit. This one hit, and there's a lot of people out there that do that run that technique. I mean, I suppose you've got to. You know, that's the that's the thing you've got to. Um, you've got to at well, least I, look at these things. If if you just discount everything, then we'll never find anything out. And it's but and the same way, if you believe everything, then it doesn't matter what you believe because if you believe everything, some of it's got to be bullshit. Um, Jennifer Sammy again said. Robert Bigelow said aliens are in plain sight. Um, I believe that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't disagree with it. See, I, that's the thing. I I believe there's something. I'm just not. I'm not 100 percent convinced that they're from a different planet. I think there's maybe something being here. Um, from the longer beginning. than us, longer than us, or. I don't know, or like I say, maybe the interdimensional thing. You know, we've 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 got so many like folk folk uh, folklore stories and fairy tales and stuff like mm. that. I always think it has to it has to have come from somewhere. Somewhere, exactly, exactly, mm. exactly. And I mean, for 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 a start, there's a an, in the Bible, and you know, I'm not going on a religious tip. But in the Bible, in Genesis, and I think it's like the very first part of it, it tells you about, there's a quote that says, those that were here before us and will be here after us, the Nephilims. So it tells you that there was another species here. Yeah. And that that filters through through um, historical, well, his ancient tablets. Mm. So I, I think, I think they're, I think they're here. I think they're very intelligent, and I think when people talk about this, I I think we're referring to the shadow governments. What the well, <coughs> the the actual entities? Yeah. 
I would I I, I would not um I, I wouldn't say that was a stupid idea. The idea that these things might have infiltrated, like in a, in a in a like an invasion type of way, uh, infiltrated governments and things like that. It, it it seems like if you if you if you were living with a volatile um, species, you'd you'd want to. Like keep keep an eye on them, especially if they were because we are advanced enough to cause to cause a fuss. You know, we're, 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 whichever way you look at it, maybe maybe we're the equivalent of like a six year old running around with a with a gun in his hand. He doesn't know what it is, but he might shoot his mom. Um, maybe that's how they see us. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the super sticker, Phil. I think you're normally well. Uh, I forgot what your normal name is. I saw you say say up the top that you you've had to change your name because you've been banned on a couple of channels. <laughs> <laughs> you naughty <Wait>, boy! <laughs> <laughs> as long as long as it doesn't upset me, that's fine. Mind, mind you, you've got you've got to go pretty pretty wild for me to start banning people. I think. The, I was going to uh, say you can accept me. Go ahead, man. <laughs> his, his name was Peter. Cheers, man. Thank you very much. Uh, it's also people people sticking in the chat. I am doing my very best to read the chat tonight, but obviously with it just being me and I, I can't sneak off into the chat and just read like I usually do when all these like waffles nonsense. Was, uh, it's, usually, it's usually a welcome break for me, to be perfectly honest, and listen to Ali. Can I just ask Tom Thomas, was that on the the red the red red haired giants? Um, what about the tomb uh, of Gilgamesh that was supposed to be raided by? Ye yes, I think it was the um, the story of that was they found a giant, wasn't it? In the um, and in didn't the manage to kill a few of them. Yeah, <laughs> and it, like a a, a a a gunfight broke out with said giant, and yeah, it killed a few of them. There was a couple a couple survived, something like that. Um, I, I love that stuff. I you know, there's the problem is there's no um like there's there's nothing to back it up with, but when you when when you get somebody trying to put a convincing story a story forward that we, we only went into Iraq because we were looking for Stargates and stuff like that. I'm, at that point I don't care if it's bullshit. I just want you to tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh I was looking today actually at the is it somewhere in is it in Indonesia the um that like palace thing that's been dug straight down into rock? Go on. Have Tell you seen here. that? The it it's basically it's 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 like a a bit of a cliff that's been there that's rock, and was supposedly in eight it took eighteen years to do. The people just carved straight down, and you've got this. Like beautiful, like uh, it's in India, the um, beautiful, um, like pa palace-looking thing. That's but they but they supposedly carved down. I'll, I'll see if I can find a picture of that because um, it is it's crazy. And the the that's the thing the uh, the idea that we've done these things uh, with just a hammer and a chisel. And a lot yeah. of patience to me is just yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, there's a lot of hidden history, but you know, with technology today, they're starting to. I remember, I remember the story about the Nile, and um, it was it was reported that they changed the course of the Nile. Yeah, yeah. The the Egyptian civilization changed the course of the Nile, and a lot a lot of um scientists were saying that's impossible. They couldn't have done that. That was impossible. Mm. And then with the satellites that we have now that scan the grounds, they saw that the course of the Nile had indeed been changed. That's yeah. I mean, this is the thing. There's so many, um, like, there's so many signs that we have had other technology that's that's either been lost to us or hidden from us now. Hidden, hidden. Um, let me just show you this. So this, this here, wow. was and that was underground. 
No, 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 it wasn't underground. The this this ring, I'll, I'll see if I can point it here. This was a solid piece of rock. And they built that by carving into the rock. Wow. I mean, that is to to me is bordering on impossible. Where's the there's another let me see, there's a Yeah, you know, it's got multiple rooms. It's the Excellent. and that's all made out of stone as well. All made it all made out of stone and all dug from the top down. Hey Ali. There he is. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, Ali. We'll 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 start talking about the old Jibby soon. We'll uh, we'll get we'll we'll get your channel struck before time. <laughs> 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 which right um, now hardest <laughs> but yeah I mean, maybe this is it you know maybe the maybe the evidence um that we need is not so much evidence of like things flying around in the sky um mm. it's uh it's evidence of what's already been here exactly exactly Maybe that's so, the, that, that's the real thing because that's tangible. We can see that we can touch it, and if if all of a sudden we're honest about things and go, do you know what? There is no way a human being, or at least a human being from where we are, from from where we've come from to where we are now, in between that, there's no way we can have done this. Mm. Mm. It's that there's an there's an old saying: in order to know where you're going, you have to know where you've been. And I don't think we as a civilization knows this because I always, my favorite quote, I, I believe was from Churchill. I, so I've learned now that a lot of people have been quoted for saying things that necessarily didn't say it. So, but the one quote that I heard was from Churchill and he said, history is written by the victors. Yes. And that, that in itself just makes sense mm -hmm. because we're not getting the real story of history. And I have spent I have spent so much time trying to unlearn what I learned at school, because a lot of it that they taught us at school is bollocks. Um, I mean, we're still taught like, in fitting with what we're talking about here. Uh, my son's five, and he's done like the like the the bare basics of like because for, for some reason, and I, I always find find there's something interesting about this as well. We learn so little about our own history, as in like like British history in the UK. But you can be fucking sure that you learn you learn about Egyptology at some point, two or mm. three times probably uh, over the course. Like you, it you don't you don't leave leave school without knowing who Osiris is. Um, and I, I find that very strange. But the um, the fact that you have it's still being taught in school right now that these stones were moved by slaves on like trees, cut down trees that were rolled along that were then slid up ramps with loads of slaves pulling ropes, pulling these things up. Like science knows that's nonsense, but we're still teaching it to children as fact. Mm. And mm. That's weird. Mm. I suppose oh. once I suppose once something's ingrained, it's mm. hard to it's hard to like break free from that thought. Maybe, yeah, may, maybe it's hard to break free from it. It could even be a um, and plus nobody like, else is saying anything else to the contrary that they're taking seriously. No, but we have we, we've at least tried to do these things. Like, do you remember they tried to do a like a recreation of picking one of those blocks up with one of the makeshift cranes, and the whole crane just exploded on itself <laughs> with what they were trying to do? Um, it's see the the thing the thing with the pyramids is because I know you've got you've definitely got man made pyramids around them because we've got ones which have fallen apart, which were rubbish, uh, and I, I think they're just a tribute to what was there. Mm. Mm. Um, that's, a, well, that's what i believe that's what i remember i remember reading something what nikola tesla said and he 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 believes that the pyramids are older than egypt than that older than the egyptian civilization mm. he's he believed that they built 
their civilization around the pyramids. Mm. And well, I, 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 I kind of, to me, you know, he's the smartest, he was at the time the smartest man on the earth. Mm. And if you don't believe that, when, when, um, when I think it was Time Magazine went to um, Einstein, and asked him what's it what's it like to be the smartest man on the world on, on the earth and he said i don't know you'd have to ask nikola tesla that <laughs> <laughs> it's a great quote it's that's it's it's a really good quote the um my favorite einstein quote is he was asked once if people would stop believing in god uh, sorry he was asked if people stop believing in god will they not believe in anything and he said no if people stop believing in god they'll believe in everything and i think it's exactly <laughs> what you're seeing right now everybody Everybody can go out and find their own god. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the uh, the thing on the like finding the pyramids as well. I don't know. Like I, I'm I'm desperate to get the guy on. Um, if you go on TikTok, do you know the uh, the black dude, the British guy who always does the mud flood videos? No. no. Have you seen? No, he he does lots of Tartaria stuff. I I keep trying to reach out to him, and I I'm I'm just getting lost in comments. And it's one of those ones where you, where you kind of uh, can't you email him? I, I can't find his email address. It's only he only seems to talk to people on TikTok. I'll, I'll have another little dig, dig around for it. It's one of those ones where you 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 are lost in like a mass of comments, and you keep feeling like going like, how do I let you know that I've got like a legitimate thing where you can come and talk to some people that are probably going to be interested in what you want to say? Um, but there's like lots of people that are into the mud flood stuff. And I haven't done like a proper show on it because it's such a deep subject that you need to know your, what your stuff about it, or you just end up looking at photographs going, Oh, I don't know what to do with this. Okay. Um, but when you look at the like supposed history of, um, I don't know if you know the, you know, that when you see the old Westerns yeah. of, uh, and you, you see the old wooden, like wooden houses and they have the like the the big signs on the top of the on the top of the like single story buildings i don't do you know what they're there for do you know what i mean yeah well they used to have like false fronts on like what single story houses and the idea was when they had prospectors and stuff come into town they wanted to try and make their town seem more technically advanced than it was so they put false tops on the tops of buildings so it looked like there was like two or three story buildings there when actually it was a single story saloon that they were in okay um, <laughs> well, we went from this point from from that point supposedly to like towns roads uh, then eventually electricity in a really short amount of time uh and there's lots of reports. I think there's, there's, there's definitely ones uh, talks talks about with Australia that when people landed there and these countries were discovered, they actually found buildings. You no, know, they like the the that sort of old architecture was already there, and we just repurposed these things over time. Mm. And um, I, I it, it's fascinating to me, like the the mud flood thing. If it, if anything, I mean. First of all, I think it's terrifying because it, it backs up the um, like the Graham Hancock idea of multiple like cataclysms that keep rolling humanity back to the Stone Age, and then we keep rebuilding and rolling us back to the Stone Age. And is that, what, is, is that what they mean by the Great Reset? That's what I genuinely worry about. I, I genuinely worry about is that like, is the idea of the Great Reset. Um, but it's, it's it's okay to keep on because eventually something like that will happen. Yeah, yeah, but if it can like not happen for like a few generations time, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I don't see it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Or, or like, see, that's the thing. I used to turn around and say, like, if the world ends, I want it to happen when I'm like really sick and about eighty six. So I just so I see it. Like, so if I go out, everyone can come with me, and we can all carry on <laughs> in the next phase. Um, but now I've got a son, so I can't think that because he's definitely going to be around. Um, but uh, no, I do. I think it's it's terrifying the idea that something I think I, might come that you there's, there's just no no control over you know no no human intervention. It's this is just this is the way it is, and just take it, bitch. I mean, I I, I was talking to a guy about Earth. 
And I don't see the thing is, I didn't realize that this guy didn't understand about Earth, not in the way that I see it. And I explained to him that, you know, we're already out in space. We're just a floating, uh, floating ball in space. And I said, the dangers of that, we're only monitoring so much of the sky. We're not seeing all of it. Mm -hmm. So I, I said to him, the worst scenario is that we get hit by a meteor that can come below us. We're not monitoring yeah. that. Yeah, well, yeah, we could get hit by a meteor. That's a sun facing meteor, so we won't even see it coming because the sun's the sun's like acting as a camouflage. If we get so, hit by one from below, us, we just need to hope Australia's on the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't see. I I've got quite strange with all this sort of stuff because I am. Um, I I've I've never. I, I, I was never really a, a religious person, and um, I found myself. Some I don't know. I don't. I, I don't quite know what religion is or what like where where the parts that have created the parts come from. But I'm now much more in the in the position where I believe that there is something unique yeah. about humans and special about humans, and that we're there's a reason where. <laughs> relatively i mean when you look at like look at the like the state of the moon for instance like it's peppered so how like that earth should be just as peppered as the moon and it's not we look we we see it's how the solar system is designed and it's it's when you look at it it's fascinating because we have mm. we have our slugger which is um jupiter and it's yeah. got such a great gravitational pull and it's that... sucking all the bad shit up so we don't take it yet yeah, it's our, it's our slugger, man. It's our slugger. Mm -hmm. It's our baseball bat. And then you have the moon that can deflect. I mean, these these things, like um, when, when I was talking to a guy who is, uh, I can't pronounce it. I'm going to give it my best. Phys, phys, physics. Yeah. Yeah. And he told me that the physics, the maths, the moon shouldn't be where it is. It's too big. So what does that tell you about the moon? Mm. <laughs> Was yeah. it placed there for our own protection? Because if you, or it's, it's simple thing is we have two moons. The Earth has two moons. Our real moon, they don't, they don't talk about. Mm. But you can Google up, you could Google, and it's there. The Earth has two moons. That's interesting. Just, Do you know just that? Out, no, no. Just point out here, John, John P. Adventures, Adventures here saying about subs not mean and big books and neat contributors, just in case anyone out there fancies chucking a super chat in. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I, I, I've never heard the two moon thing before. I've heard the two sun thing before. You know, the like the, the dual sun videos were all about it on YouTube, weren't they, uh, a few years yeah, ago? Yeah, yeah, but that's that's... Uh, I don't know. I, I I don't want to say. I don't think there's two suns in our. I, I find it difficult. I find it difficult to believe that you could hide two suns. Yeah. You know, and everything everything was so perfectly aligned for so long. You know that you could you, you could only make one out from the others. But I mean, saying that though, you know, when you have a what is it? Is that the the moon is five hundred times smaller than the sun but 500 times the distance away which is why you can get a total solar eclipse like the, mm. the 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 odds of that are astronomical you know i mean it's it's probably it's, it's, beyond reasonable doubt actually you know if, if if when you look at the calculation of what beyond reasonable doubt is. just all i'm going to say about the two moons right it's not a theory they if you just google it they even tell you what the second moon's called. It hasn't got it hasn't got a name per se. It's like um some numbers and something else in it, but it's not a theory. You know the, the two sun the two suns is a theory, and also what was what was it the sun similar sun sun simulator? I don't know if you no, guys what, ever you, you ever heard about. Oh, they believe that the sun they they. This this theory all stems that we are living in a holographic universe, mm. and the sun simulator is basically 
you know, when we have an eclipse, that's when they're changing the light bulb, basically, because like what you did with the math saying the, the moon in front of the sun and you get an eclipse. That's, yeah. You know, it doesn't seem right. So what they're saying is like they block out the sun to change the light bulb, basically. Mm. See, so, what, what do you think about the idea of simulation theory? Well, I know that I'm not a simulation. Are you a simulation? I don't think so. so. See, I, <laughs> I, I think um, simulation theory is nihilistic bullshit. That's uh, that's it, it's the it's the atheist's way of trying to explain creationism. Well, I I I, re I really dislike I I dislike the. Uh, uh, the simulation theory just because I, I dislike yeah. anything that's essentially trying to tell people they're not really worth anything, which is what it does. You know, it just says, yeah, you, you just load of numbers, you know, you could, you, you could just be an advanced version of the Sims, you know, maybe mm -hmm. someone's, mm -hmm. someone's around. And if that's the case, maybe the guy that's got my Sims should just build me a better fucking house. That'd be nicer. Maybe give me a nicer car and a better job. That'd be good too. But, um, <laughs> No, yeah. I just, I, it was it was a road I went on a long time ago, and it's just like, nah, nah. It's 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 a good idea, and it would make a good movie, but as far as that, nah. nah. Um, did you did you did you manage to look it up? I I did. I just saw a load of stuff, and I genuinely can't believe I haven't seen that before. Like it was just full of YouTube videos from. Like, like like credible sources and news articles and stuff like that. That's I, I, wild. If, if, if I was you, I'd just go to go to go to Google, and it'll just tell you the name. You you know, it'll tell you the name of the second moon. Um, the Phil just pointed out there says Lee doesn't believe in the moon landing. I don't. I don't believe in the moon landing. I don't believe we went to the moon. Um, what what do you think about the moon landing now? We've seen how we're talking about satellites. I think. And I know it's going to be an unpopular belief. I think I think we did go, and I'm gonna and I'll tell you why I think we did go. It would have cost more to fake it than it would have to actually just go. I think we did go. I just have that feeling that we did go. I don't think it's a lie, mm. but you know, there you go. Uh, Camo Wale, <laughs> what you like that? That's, Which that's moon? The, the, that's the the Earth's quasi moon. Is that what they? Is that what they gave it? They gave it a name now. Yeah, Camel Camelwale. I think that. I think that's how you say it. If I've got that right, amazing. <laughs> and it was luck more than linguistic skills. <laughs> when I when I when I first stumbled upon that, because it was, I, I like to talk to some people, and I always tell them, "Look, I'm the dumbest man in the room, so talk to me like an idiot." And mm -hmm. they do. So I walk away, and I understand what they're saying. And that when I first was told about Earth's second moon, I was like, nah, nah. And she said, look, it's there. Just look for it. You'll find it. And I did, and I found it, and I was blown away. I was like, what? Because what yeah. this guy was telling me about our moon and the size that our moon should be, mm -hmm. this, this object that they're saying is the second moon is exactly what he said, how he said the size should have been and everything. Wow. Then he says, and he told me that a lot, a lot of people that do physics, they always discuss the moon. It's a, it's a paradox to them. Well, my uh, my thing with the uh, with the moon landings is that the um, I don't believe the footage we've seen is real. That's the thing, and maybe I'm, I, but I can also I can understand why it would be. I understand why it would be faked, yeah. Why it would be faked, and I understand why it would be like why you wouldn't want people to know. You know, I mean, it is like let's just say what we we've been told, for instance, that there's a lot of helium on the uh, on the moon. We don't know where where else might be there. You know, what other resources could be useful up there? Um, the the idea that nobody tried to put a fucking base there is just wild to me. Like the I, I I can't believe that the first thing you wouldn't do if if you land successfully on the move before you even put people there, 
I find it difficult to believe that the first country with the technology to do wouldn't go right. How do we put weapons there? And how do we launch them from space? <laughs> I don't. I don't because that's it's the ultimate high ground. If any, yeah. if war has taught us anything, you always have the high ground. You can't get higher ground than space as far as war goes. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused by the by the moon landings. I would don't get me wrong. I want us to have done it. Why why wouldn't I? I remember I used to have a um, Philips CDI games console. It was a terrible thing. It's awful, right? Real real failure as far as games consoles go. And one of the things it came with was the like the in 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 Cartica Britannica was that the the, the name of it like the um, the encyclopedia. And uh, it because it came on a CD ROM. Like, there was very little video on it, but one of the clips was um, the, the moon landing and the you know, the one, one small step for man. Yeah. And I must have watched that a fucking million times when I was a kid. I, I was so fascinated by these people that had gone on this fucking death-defying adventure. And I had I kept that in my head for ages, and then I watched a funny thing happened on the way to the moon, and I <laughs> to myself, oh well, there's there's some bullshit happened here because regardless of right, regardless of what you think about the uh, funny things on the um, uh, funny that thing that happened on the way to the moon, is regardless of what what you think about the documentary, it shows some sort of fuckery. Mm. I think I think I th I think you have to take um I guess with the moon landing, it's a more of a personal thing. I mean, I, I listen I listen to all both sides of this coin. Mm. I I think we did. I and I'm with you. I would I would like to believe that we had. I know there's many things that have been come up about it, but who knows? Who knows? Mm. Who knows? Let's ask Neil Armstrong. No, we can't ask him, can we? And we can't ask Buzz because he'll punch you in your face if you say no. We, we didn't, they didn't go. <laughs> well, Buzz, Buzz, Buzz keeps telling people they didn't go. Now, does he? Yeah. The the um, oh, the God of if 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 there was more of us, I'm not going to pull it up because because it would have just been two of us. I would just be sat looking at my laptop. Uh, he told a little girl. This was last year or the year before. The year she asked him um, why we haven't been back to the moon. And the best I can give you, almost verbatim, I, I might get a couple of words wrong here. And he said, that's not a little girl question. That's my question. And the reason we didn't, we haven't gone back there is because we didn't go there. And that's the truth. Mm -hmm. See, I missed that. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking weird. Like, it's a weird interview. And then I think he said that he didn't go... There was, you know, in the uh, it's Cambridge, isn't there, where they have the, uh, like the, they've got the famous lecture hall. Okay. Yeah, and um, I think he did some sort of presentation there, and he told a girl there, like a teenager, they didn't go. Um, I'm still in the early days of Twitter. Do you remember that um, the tweet of um, the pyramid in Antarctica they put out? There was he put there, there was a tweet from Buzz Aldrin. Now, it's it, internet folklore would now tell you that's fake, but I don't believe it was fake. So I remember it being a big thing when it came when it when it happened, uh, and the like the the tweet came up and then went, then got taken down. Then the, the then the story was it was his account was hacked and it was it was put up for him, and then since subsequently people have been saying it's fake. I don't think either of those are true. I think he did a tweet he wasn't supposed to. And the supposed um, pyramid on uh, in Antarctica. There was a picture of that. He was in Antarctica at the time because it was when he had to be flown home when he was sick. If you remember that, um, he and he tweeted a picture of that supposed pyramid with, "This is evil itself." And it's then that tweet was taken down. What did he mean by that? I can't really. Still, I wonder if can I find the tweet because the tweet's worth finding. Um, what did, what did he mean by putting a pyramid in in, in Antarctica and saying it's evil itself? Um, it was the I'll, 
I will show. I'll, sh I'll try and find it. Uh, I've been lost in the in the dead internet pages that we seem to have now. <laughs> Take me to that photograph, please. It's, this is clearly from an uh, a perfectly reasonable news source. It's the the end times. Ah, oh, you're not going to, be able to read it, but at least you'll get a um, you got you'll get a feel for what the photograph was. Uh, this is usually where my boy Ollie does all this. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so he posted that picture of that, like because they, they they people have supposed that this mountain is a uh, is a pyramid, uh, and it's we are all in danger. It is evil itself. And I believe at the time when that was posted up, it was um, the uh, it, it was supposed to be his, his account was hacked, and then subsequently it's been explained away as um, a as a fake. But who knows? If someone if someone was faking, it was weird. But it was and it was weird that he was there and he was he was airlifted out of Antarctica because he took a he took a sick turn. That was also the time that you had uh, Barack Obama, a sitting president, went down to Antarctica. Uh, I think um, Xi Jinping went. If I've said that right, the uh, Prime Minister of Great Britain at the time. Um, Vladimir Putin went down. I think the Pope went down as well. Like it was all, all your heavy hitters went down there to see penguins. Well, isn't that where it wasn't that around the time when they were doing a seed bank? Possibly, yeah, yeah possibly. I think that, I'm sure the seed banks there. But the oh no, the, no, the seed banks in Norway or something like that. Is it? Okay. Yeah, or Iceland. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not an. There you go. There you go. But um. This is but why I, I do. This is why I do YouTube. <laughs> but this is the this is like a a tick in the box of um, uh, of the moon landings, though. That if you've got all those important people that are going down to Antarctica for reasons, um, and if it is something interesting, like a, of a conspiratorial type elk, then that would suggest that Buzz Aldrin has also done something interesting. Otherwise, he wouldn't be invited down there. You know what? What what experience does a like a? I'm gonna say failing. I don't mean it as a bad thing. You know, he's just he's getting old. We can't we mm. can't help it. But what input would it would like a, a failing astronaut have unless he he had some first hand knowledge of something exceptional? If it was something out of the ordinary. Mm. Well, that's I'm just mind blowing, man. Mm. But the, the see this this is the thing you I, I always think about as well with the with the because uh, that's the thing I, I I have questions about moon landing footage. That's why I don't believe it. But it's not like I, it's I don't like a wholesale believe we didn't go. I just don't think we went because on the other hand, if un, unless it is just one big club and we are all bystanders of the world stage. Hmm. Surely, um, like one of one of America's adversaries would have pointed out that um, America essentially built technological technological supremacy and prestige on the moon landings, and if they if they hoaxed it, that would have leaked. That would that would have leaked from from Russia, unless they were all in on it. Exactly. No. Yeah. I was thinking of that. I was thinking of a mind blown over. Yeah, I just I just caught that in the corner of my eye as well. 
No, I was thinking of that. That that, that did pop into my head when when um what if he was telling the truth about what he saw? Because mm -hmm. people people were people were always discounting it because they were saying like it's a third hand story, if I remember rightly. Mm. And well, this and that. sorry, no, sorry, go on. No, that's that's basically my input. <laughs> well, was it was it Admiral Bird that was on the the? It, it, there's that video that the flat Earth documentaries always pull up on the like the long long gene chronoscope. I think he was on. Uh, where he talk, talks about the because he did he did like Operation High Jump and Operation Fishbowl, didn't he? Admiral Bird. He was on those things. So someone someone tell me in the chat saved me up to Google stuff again. Um, <laughs> but when he was on like Long Jeans Chronoscope, which was kind of a um, come on, Dark Skies. I know yeah, you're Dark, into all Dark this. Skies are well known. <laughs> Dark, Dark Skies will know and have all the links for me as well. Um, <laughs> but the he was talking about the um, expedition in Antarctica, and he was saying over the poles. He said was an was a a like a green a green land uh, as large as the United States that was rich in plutonium and coal, and uh, he he said it was going to be one, one of the most valuable places on the earth um, in in the coming years. And the reason he was saying this was. He was saying that there was still land to explore, and he said, "For for any young explorers out there, don't think we know all the corners of the world because there are still many places out there for us to go." Um, I think that would be the real shame. Like if if there is extra land, if there's that sort of, oh, you know, if if there's, I, I don't want to say land beyond the poles because you start we start going down the flat Earth realm there, and I don't really want to do that. Um, but if we if we look at the sort of Admiral Bird, even if it's just as another continent or the the uh, the inner Earth theory, that th those sort of things, the idea that exploration is being stolen, I think that's the worst part. The mm. worst part because because humans are explorers. Even what we said before about the uh, the guy in the plane that flew towards the UFO, we we go towards things. We don't go away from them. Not most mm. of the time, you know. It's if if you it if, if you hear a noise downstairs, you don't lock your bedroom door and wait for the sun to come up. You go downstairs and you find it. You might pick a big stick up, and then when you get downstairs, you might swap that big stick for like a poker from the fire. But you will go and check it out. Mm -hmm. Um, the and I mean, look at me, myself and Ollie. We've got four weeks until we go to uh um till we go to the US to stay with Dave. Dave's probably gonna murder us. And to do stuff to our dead bodies, but you know what? It's going to be exciting finding out. <laughs> it'll be a rem it'll be memorable. <laughs> <laughs> and if he does, I'm going to haunt that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, man. I think you guys will have fun, man. Dave seems like a really cool guy. I'm looking forward tell, to it as well. I tell you, I would, I would, right. I would love. To, he's the kind of guy I would love to sit there have a have a nice smoke with. Yeah, and just hear some of his tales, man. Because I'm sure, I'm sure he's got stories upon stories, man. So I think I'm, you guys will have a real great time. I, I'm fairly sure that he's got stories that he won't say on electronic devices. To be perfectly honest, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing some of them. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, but back on the the Antarctica sort of thing. I mean, maybe that's maybe that's it. Maybe maybe that's where the where the where the evidence is more than likely is because mm -hmm. you look how you, you look how it's just stopped dead yep it's very hard to get permission to go there and then you can only go to certain you can't you can't go there there so and i mean i i, I buy into the inner earth i i do buy i i do i'm a believer of that mm-hmm I'm and not. The, yeah, I'm definitely not not a believer. Like the, um, it's there's something to it. Like I, the, the there's something to all this kind of extra land stuff and things. They like even even down to the flat Earth stuff because I always look at the things which aren't promoted, and there is no, there is no other like conspiracy theory that's quite as suppressed as 
um, well, apart from actual hard science and evidence over the past two years, that's been pretty well suppressed. But the um, there's no conspiracy theory that's as suppressed as flat Earth stuff. But you can't. I don't. Yeah. I don't. No, I don't find that it's suppressed. But the, I don't. Well, no. I th- if you if you look look for it like on on YouTube and stuff like that, now it used to be all over the place. Now, if you do, all you do is find the CNN articles and stuff. You don't find the people. You don't find like the mm-hmm. um, Dubays and the um, what's Logan Sar- not, Lo- not not Logan Sargent. It, but wasn't Web- Debase wasn't wasn't Debase, um I know that name because I'm sure he was he was outed as a fraudster. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm poss- and possibly he was, and the same with the um, the allegedly. Um, let me yeah. say allegedly. <laughs> yeah, but the same with oh god, what's his name? What's his name? It was the there was like a charismatic American guy. He said he worked for NASA. Um, I think it. In fact, he had like the. I think he was like NASA on YouTube or something like that because he found it hilarious that NASA was so behind the times that they hadn't like they didn't have NASA dot com or something like that. I can't. I can't remember what it was now. He did a stand up show about it, all about flat Earth, and he said he was an artist. And he worked for NASA doing um, like faking photographs, you know, of the of, of planets and things like that. Now, it's, it's not so much faking; he was enhancing them. Oh no, no, no! He's his thing was he was drawing them, like he was drawing, like, not not through not data and stuff like that. He was just painting, like doing because he, he's like a, a realist artist you know like a photographic realist artist and his art is tremendous you know if, if there's nothing else the guy's a fucking great artist um but i i don't believe like in flat earth but what i do believe is and this is, is something dave said uh, said to me he said there must be something in it there's something in it if it gets suppressed because like and th- that's the one thing if there's something that isn't suppressed right now it's ufos ufos are actively pushed you know, and I, I'm and certain things are actively pushed. I mean, we had a video that did really well lately, and I have a theory as to why it did well. I don't, I don't know if I should mention it or not, so I probably shouldn't. Um, Ollie's got some theories about why that video did well as I well. Th- so. I think it was the ending, the micro penis. I think everybody wanted to hear about that. Maybe, yeah, maybe there's micro penis. <laughs> uh, oh no, I, do you know what? I suppose it doesn't matter. I think it was because we played the documentary of um, the the trailer of. Um, Greer's documentary, and it was uh, it was like took by copyright, so he would get the right ad revenue for that. that that's how the how that oh. video was was monetized. I believe that video took off because it was seen as one of his videos, and he is being boosted by YouTube. I could be completely wrong, but that's what that's my theory about it. Dave has some other theories. Oh, yeah, some other theories about that. Why that one video did well could just be the fact that I'm fucking sexy, but I <laughs> think it might be. I think it might be the um, the fact that it was it was copyrighted by his um, like marketing team and his marketing team are. It, it, maybe the pay, it's pay, paying YouTube something like that, but some stuff gets pushed, some stuff doesn't, uh, yeah. and alien stuff seems to be getting pretty pushed. Well, no, uh, but I think I think I think there was a time when there was a lot of flat Earth people. So I, I mean, I just uh, never mind. <laughs> mm. See there, Mister Jelly gets it. Uh, jolly, jolly rich. Sorry, uh, some conspiracies are pushed so they lead uh, views and opinions in the wrong direction, and that's uh, exactly. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I, that's I've what's never... going on with the UFO. Sorry, no, no. I was just going to say that I've never believed in aliens less and UFOs than when the U.S. government started trying to insinuate it was real. Yep. yep. At that point, I thought, well, if you're saying that, it's clearly fucking demons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I I agree. Andrew. That's that's what they're trying to do with the, but it, uh, they're trying to control. I think they're trying to control the narrative on this because that's why they won't focus on civilian sightings. Oh you know, yeah, yeah. 
one hundred percent. It's why they keep getting um, people like DeLonghi. Uh, yeah, and Yuri Geller. <laughs> fuck Yuri Geller! Oh my god! But you Jesus. see, he's like some sort of spokesman. All of a sudden, he's not bending spoons. They've got him on TV talking about the phenomena. Well, this is the funny thing, right? Like, I remember him as a kid, like being on Tally Bending Spoons, and it was always kind of known that he was some sort of CIA asset as well. Mm. You know, the um, I don't think he was a CIA asset for his powers. I think he is just like a, a misinformation guy. Yeah, I, I'm sure there is people all over the world which are um, essentially trained actors living their lives out and just that but they're there just for that moment that right we need we need x you in x yuri is perfect for this plug yuri in get him on telly um because the, the ufos was never his thing like years ago it was never his thing his thing was well, bending he... spoons it was read of minds and occasionally he'd try and try he'd try and convince you that he could make a football go into a goal yeah, I remember that foolishness. It was, <laughs> it was, it was, yeah. Uh, and then, then, then just, I mean, I think maybe about three years ago, he started talking about he went to Roswell. He was, he was there and he, he saw things there. Yeah. Did, did you ever see that when he come out of talking that stuff? No, no, that he'd be, the, the, now was he saying he remembered? Think, no, hold on. Hold, hold on. I think I got it wrong. I think he said he went to Area 51. No, what like physically or did he astral physically physically wow. physically they took him there and he they took him there to show him something and he wouldn't say what he saw but he he, he i think he said that about three years ago he, he was in the papers talking that wow i'll have to have a look at that just ju just for shits and giggles but um yeah, it's even weird how he does his little videos and stuff because, like, he's got you know he's got that massive TV behind TV. him that your stuff. Yeah. You know, it's it's like he's built a little studio in his house just to do that fake, just to promote yeah. fake UFO videos. Fake, yeah. you yeah. know, not even not even genuine gen, genuine sightings of maybe something that's been misrepresented or misidentified. Mm. He's he's showing you CGI UFOs and telling you that they're real. <laughs> see the thing is as well what makes it interesting what he's doing is it it doesn't even seem to be like he's monetizing it you know if he had like yuri explains everything on youtube and he was running a youtube channel and he had like a million subscribers and he was getting hundreds of thousand views on youtube you could oh well he's doing it for pocket money isn't he he's like he's he's, he's, clearly, he's a, he's a well-off man anyway but clearly he's uh he's he's grifting his way to a bit of notoriety, B, bit of extra cash. But he doesn't seem to do it enough for it to be, excuse me, he doesn't seem to do it enough for it to be for fame or like to get himself back in the limelight. Uh, and he's, he's not doing it to make money. So it's, it's, there's a reason for it. And he must know, you know, if he's into the subject, like and he, if he's doing his like citizen journalism bit on it all, um, he must know that what he's putting out is bullshit. He does know. It does know because I reached out to him twice. And he can't tell me that man ain't read my messages to him. I, I told him who I was and I said, look, you, as a child, I watched you and you were kind of my a hero to me. Mm -hmm. Which which to, to he was. He was. As a kid, he oh, was yeah, mind yeah. He was cool as a kid. Like, he was yeah. cool. Yeah, he would. Yeah, yeah, and I and I did end it saying I hate to see you turn into a joke. And here we are, because he hasn't responded to me. I I, t I told him who I was. I gave him a link to my channel, and I said, "Man, I'm happy to help you." Yeah, I would have loved to have shown him that on um, the pilot footage. Mm. I'd have loved to have shown him that and say, "Mate, that, push that. That's what that's what people need to be seeing. That's what people need to be talking about." Mm. you know get get the guy on because i'm sure if he went if he went and got an interpreter and said look man i want i want to interview you get the pilot on then tell I'd, the story. I'd like to go on rogan oh god rogan will eat him up. Yeah. oh rogan will eat him up man could you imagine if he made him microdose first he'd <laughs> 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 be talking all kinds of shit man i i, I you know he'd be saying what well, what's that thing what's that thing um remote viewing 
I remote viewed on Mars. <laughs> <Shit like that. laughs> no, but he wouldn't say Mars because everybody else been to Mars. He'd say, "Oh, I went to Saturn. I was on one of the moons." <laughs> I do. I do worry. Like as, as much as everyone will know knows that listen to this show, they know how much of a Rogan fan I am. Um, I do. I do worry sometimes that that he's like an asset as well because especially for the UFO stuff. Everything seems to be coming through the Rogan experience. It's all back to who do you trust. I mean, I think, I, my opinion is, I think Rogan has, um, he's interested in it. Yeah. And because, because of who he is, he can get the so-called big names on his show to talk about these things. And they, they, they're interesting people. But it's really cool that he showed, like, I'm not going to say my channel, but yeah, he showed the pilot video. Mm. And I think that was really good that he's, he is looking at civilian sightings. Yeah. And that's, yeah, yeah. that's, and that's what we need. We need, we need more, we need more people like him to start looking at the civilian sightings and start taking them a bit more seriously. We need, but there's not enough money in it. I mean, oh, sorry, I don't mean like for, for us to do it, but like me, I don't have the equipment. Yeah. You look at look at how much money um that AARO did I say it right was yeah, going Ar to Congress Congress yeah. asking for money. Look how much money and they're gonna give them to him. And mm -hmm. but if but if a guy says, Look, I'm I don't I don't want to use me, I um I'm a, but let's say I'm a credible UFO channel. Um I deal with civilian sightings, give me a fraction, give me a hundred thousand so I can get certain equipment certain monitors certain tools to take these footage apart and have a better look at it hmm. you know yeah. they, they, they're happy to hand out millions to people who want to look at military stuff but i think the civilians are getting overlooked and that's really really that's really my my crawl <laughs> hmm. no i think you're right i Again, that but that is uh, before I've, I've got a super chat to bring up. It's going to bring us back to the moon. I'll bring it up in a second. Um, the it's one one of the problems I have though is with all the cameras. There's still this. There's nothing right. Everything is with question. That's why we need. These, that's why we need the right kind of equipment to analyze yeah. the footage. No, no, but, I mean, but you would think like if I if, if I said to people um one pictures of Bugattis, you know, or even a four GT forty, I think it's four in the world, isn't there? We could put a shout out on Twitter. People some some people would find some four GT forty to take photographs of. Um I think the uh I think if these were actual like proper crafts that you can just get in a door and I open the door and walk into. I feel there'd be more, like there'd be more pictures, better pictures. Well, again, you're dealing with civilians. So we, people, um, they don't have, like, the normal Joe doesn't walk around with a camera, a uh, Nikon 1000 strapped around no, his neck. No, that's, that's fair. And yeah. some of these people that we're dealing with, they're not, financially they're not photographer right and they're not financially stable to have the latest iphone the latest whatever phone so you're dealing with a lot of elements but when they have got something and you got the facilities to get the raw data and that you can analyze the raw data you can generally generally like what i try and do with my channel is use a bit of discernment if i didn't use discernment i could give you a video every day Every day I would I would post a UFO video, but I'm using discernment because um, my personal belief is that the money is secondary. It's your time that is important to me, mm -hmm. and the time that you take to watch my video, whether you hate it, and if you hated the video and I put out a load of crap for you to watch, I wasted your time. You could have been doing something better with that time than watching yeah. the foolishness that I'm putting out. So that's why I use my discernment. And I think that's what we need. And we we do need more money, you know. 
I, I, I would happily do it because I love what I'm doing and I would I would love the equipment to tear apart some of these footages and have a real good look at it. Yeah. Uh, Duff Skyfire said, totally agree with you, Underbelly. Uh, plus, most people don't even look up. They've sat with their heads buried in their phones looking down. I, I think, I, I definitely think there's a there's an element of that to it as well. Um, Phil posted up... Um, uh, I think there are buildings on the moon uh, that the government hired. Do you? Do, do I, I bet you've gone down the road of looking at the like photographs of structures on the moon. There's, 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 um, the one that's always interested me is the tower. Have you ever seen that one? Yeah, like, the circle, like this. it's circular. Yeah. Yeah. But it comes up because you can tell it's there because it gives a shadow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's really interesting. Really, I, interesting. I think that's interesting. That's that's the only one I've seen that's. In, I mean, I, I remember we got fooled by the Chinese one when it saw mm. it, it photographed the hut, but then it got close and it was just a rock. <laughs> well, I think the haven't we all but proved now that the moon's hollow? That there was a big thing about that the other week, wasn't there? About yeah. I know, I know, we did the whole thing with the with the right, hitting it with a rocket uh, and it uh, and it, it ran. ran, but there was something else about a couple of weeks ago. Um, saying like yeah this is like the, the moon's a hollow structure that's wild well if you guys ever seen moonfall that's probably more closer to the truth <laughs> moonfall yeah the is that the one where the yeah i have watched it. it's a terrible With film the, wasn't it terrible film Halle, man Halle berry though <laughs> well yeah yeah Halle, Halle berry can stay old all of the times um there's something else I saw up here that I, I quite liked. The uh, uh, Higgins seventy three. Uh, you wonder if every uh, every release has been managed to reduce credibility, and yeah, it's really weird, isn't it? It's like the we are simultaneously in like in like this new era of interest and this new mainstream era of interest as well. We haven't. Uh, We've never quite had this before, I don't think. See, see, oh, sorry, I just saw a comment. I just wanted to get back to it. No, no, who, who was it? I'll bring it up. Let me see. Oh, dear God. Where were you? And Arrow Andes. Civilians do not have the credibility that military and commercial pilots do. We need data. As See, I don't buy that myself. I mean, their, their credibility only lies in their stars and stripes. Yeah, if you if if a civilian sees you stab a man in the stomach, you're going to go to jail on his say so. Yeah, you know, that's we 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 convict people of all crimes because of civilian uh, eyewitness testimony. I, th uh, I think they're just as credible as the next guy. The only it's only just down to, I think it's I, <laughs> unless I the next guy's a politician, then they're much more credible or a lawyer. <laughs> 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 But yeah, now nah, it's just it's just a shame that and unfortunately that is a lot of the mindset for a lot of people. They they'll sooner believe what a military says than than a than a guy walking down the road saying, "Oh, I saw something in the, in the sky and I filmed it." Mm. So I mean, I think they're both credible, but a lot of the military personnel that they just have stories, not actual footage. Yeah. Whereas civilians, they have footage and sometimes no stories. <laughs> <laughs> well, this thing, I mean, there must be stories. Like the, 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 there must be stories and there must oh, be no right. footage. You know, they, but, especially from military people out there. The, yeah, no, no, I, I agree. I do agree. I, I backtrack on, on, but I do agree. There, it's on, unfortunately, it gets held and hidden. Mm hmm until it's time to be released and then it's heavily redact which i understand why they do it well that's the wild thing isn't it like this this whole um a tip thing is supposed to be given um a place for whistleblowers to go to isn't it um like the idea of whistleblowing within the government feels counterproductive yeah it's just a oh. weird thing and then plus they made it if they made it um really non-punishable Mm. If you see something, say it. 
I was always interested that there was no real UFO stuff came through WikiLeaks when WikiLeaks was white hot. <clears throat> you know, they, I remember like remember the vault was it vault fifty two or something like that. They they were doing like the when when they released a load of stuff and there was a load of people thinking like this is it, this is going to be WikiLeaks going into the UFO stuff. And it was never there. You always, I, I, I always kind of wonder with that sort of thing, you know, because they've been, they're, they're essentially just allowing, well, they're, they're quietly killing Assange. But um, mm. it makes me wonder. But I, I don't believe in, in any of it, like in the embassies he's, he's been in and now he's in a prison. You know, it's the look at Epstein, regardless of whether he was killed or I kind of think he might have been smuggled out. Um, <laughs> the uh, they were able to get him in a fairly secure location, and um, whatever happened to mm-hmm. him, you know, the guards were silenced, the yeah. cameras went went dead. Yeah, yeah. The stuff was done to make something well, look, happen. Look, look how many people he had in his black book. Yeah, yeah. The FBI were quick there to to open up his safe and take out all the videos. But this, he had every yeah. he had everyone. Yeah, but this is this is the thing is why I don't believe that if um, if a government wanted to take care of Assange now or five years ago, it would have already happened. It would he would he would have already been gone. Like fair enough, they are quietly torturing well, the man now. Well, look where he had to hide though. He had to hide in a place where they couldn't get him in embassies. Yeah, but now now he's in a prison. You know, so the. It, I I'm well, I'd, I'd be interested to know what his dead man switch is because he must have one. Or maybe they they're worried that if they kill him, he could become a martyr. So just let him rot away in the filth that they have created for him. Yeah, yeah, that that's fair. No, uh, I mean I like him, and I don't think I think I think the charges that they're making are totally false. Well, there are no charges anymore. Like the whole the oh, whole reason. Yeah, yeah. The, the whole reason he was supposed to be under investigation was for rape, wasn't it? And of the, a minor. Was it? Allegedly. I, was, I didn't think it was a minor. Wasn't it supposed to be the girl in the um, in the bar? There was a girl that he he hooked no, up I'm, with. I'm thinking. I'm hearing it. I thought I must have heard something different because I thought it was. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've heard something different. Yeah, I'm fairly sure because because I mean she's she 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 came forward. And I believe redacted her claims after after time, and that's that's why that that isn't there. I don't I don't really know what's going on. No, yeah, that's the thing. Who who really knows what what the situation with the Sanjay is now? It's just it's gone on so long that it is a a few people that are still fighting the case, and then you've got like a few people like me that don't think about it all the time. But when it comes up, you go, oh yeah, that's fucked. But um, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, King said she redacted her redaction. Well, I, I don't know if that's true. Pro- probably. <laughs> um, but uh, it's. I'm just surprised that there was nothing UFO related that came through that man. Hmm. I mean, maybe maybe that's a dead man switch. Maybe that's the. I mean, let's let's face it. It wouldn't the ultimate dead man switch for anybody be right? Because I, I mean, I I'm for one, I don't believe uh, um, Pat, uh, not Pat McAfee. No, he's an American footballist. Um, the uh, John McAfee. I don't believe he died in the Spanish prison. You know, like there's li- <coughs> there's literally a documentary on Netflix that shows him faking his own death. To get out of a country, so I I don't believe that he didn't do that again. Only this time, he has just quietly disappeared somewhere to see out his days. Mm. Uh, there was ne- there was never a body, a, bo- a body's never been released from that uh, Spanish prison. The um, there was never like an autopsy or something like that done on. He has paid off Spanish people in that uh, guards and probably the warden of the of the prison. With ungodly amounts of money, and uh, has has ran off somewhere. Uh, but I don't know if you knew when he was first taken into prison, there was a website come up with a countdown on it, 
and this the whole thing of this website which was just a picture of john's face and a countdown and i can't remember whether it, it put a code up after it i know I, I know there was there was something else that happened with it as well i am convinced that was his dead man switch and it was a a deal was bartered for him to not release wherever he was going to release and he was just going to disappear off into the uh into the sunset because i mean that guy's a fucking genius yeah, yeah. well with 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 his system he he could he could see everything <laughs> yeah. so what, he, what, what did he say with with, with what he'd, he 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 was essentially saying he had like the zero uh, a zero day program where he could just he could hack any device like remotely i mean I, and if anyone's going to be doing it, I I believe I believe him. <laughs> um, mm. But dude, there was an interesting thing actually with him. He was on a. Um, anyone that remembers where that or knows the podcast called Those Conspiracy Guys, and he did a little run of doing conspiracy podcasts. And I don't know whether it was when he was because he stood for president at one point, didn't he? Um. And I, I don't know whether it was just like he stood in the primaries, probably probably that, and then didn't get through. I'm not I'm not sure how that system worked, but I know he wanted to run for president. Um, and he he was asked like loads of questions and stuff. The usual like you talk to John McAvee, you're asking those questions about how he's fucking crazy. And uh, the guy asked him about Bill Gates, and he said something along the lines of. I am a, uh, I'm brave, but I'm not an idiot, and we don't talk about Bill Gates. <laughs> uh, that's how YouTube wants it. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's how the unless you're going to say. I mean, personally, I think Bill Gates is a lovely man. He's a lovely man. We should probably keep eating his food when he starts making it on all that farmland he's he's done up and. Uh, I like, definitely take his vaccines. Yeah, all of them, every single one, like. I can't have enough. Mm. You know, so, no... sometimes, sometimes I wake up in the morning and just check the calendar mm -hmm. to see if I can have my next one. Yeah. It's... Yeah. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Lovely guy. Lovely guy. Yeah. Oh, somewhere, <laughs> somewhere, somewhere, somewhere out there right now. Ollie's, Ollie's looking at the screen going, stop it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Talk about the moon again. Talk about the moon. Talk about talk about like space aliens underneath the moon in like a camper van. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I go on a podcast and I'm uh, not on a podcast, I go on another another live show and when when we talk about that guy, it's all in code. <laughs> um, one of the codes for him is masturbates. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, it has, I like and it's it's mad that you you can't speak what's on your mind or even show certain facts that yes. might portray somebody in a bad light because well, I, free speech is dead. I, I'm going to plug this again. I'm not going to plug with that one because you can't see it because everything's so dark. Uh, that the. So, the, the extra content we're going to start doing on Rockfin, like Rockfin's a platform where you can talk about that sort of stuff. So that's the idea. And if you want to can listen you to it, stream on it, can you can live stream, stream on it? it? Yeah, you can live stream on it. The I, I haven't looked at the email yet, but when I when I got on, was on the platform, um, the they sent me an email saying how to how to live stream and not only live stream, how to live stream from Streamyard as well. So Whoa. yeah. So as soon as as soon as that goes back, that'll be probably when Ollie gets like when when he when he when he's tired of like kissing his mum, we'll probably uh we'll we'll probably start doing that then. But uh, yeah, but th that's the plan anyway, is having the normal shows on Alien Addict on YouTube. They will also go up after the fact, like they're doing a podcast, but they'll they'll go up on Rockfin as well. And then there will be a Rockfin exclusive show, which will be just right oh it, it, it will be so nice to not talk in code 
or not say something about you know that thing you can't say on YouTube, which is a fucking meme now. Uh, <laughs> it will be so nice. It will be so nice to just have like a chat about something, and he, yeah. even if it's grim, you know, the uh, it'll it'll be good. It'll be good to do. I'm looking. I'm really looking forward to it because that's that's kind of my wheelhouse. If I'm perfectly honest, that level of conspiracy, like the secret government, the yeah. uh, what they get to do. That's, that's my weird. my thing. That's that's me too. That's me too. I that's how I started. I started out. Uh, I mean, a lot of people don't don't like this guy, but wrongly or rightly, he's the one that opened my eyes. David Icke. Mm. He started me off on a journey. I I always knew that something weren't right. Yeah, but I, I, you know, when you, I, I come from a time where they weren't internet, so you had to talk to people, and when you talk to people about your views on how you're seeing things, just from what you can see and what you can touch and what you can taste, and that things ain't right, I was looked upon as a weirdo. So this, so this, and then I stumbled upon somebody told me, somebody told me to check this guy out. And I, and I started listening to him and I thought, yeah, this guy's talking some stuff. Now I'm not on about the lizards because I think, I think he had to discredit himself. Like he opened, he went down a rabbit hole and he thought, you know what? I'm going too deep. People are going to start looking at me and want to um, assassinate me. So let's say the queen's a lizard. Mm. But I think what he was saying, read between the lines, was he was talking about the bloodline of them. I, I think it's blood right. I, I, and although it's even if you take the reptilian thing out of it, I still think he he believes that there is some sort of extra dimensional aspect to this whole thing. Um, what, what, like that was it was one of mine as well. Like the um, I was I, I always I was always quite interested in UFOs and stuff like that. Um. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm, I'm 40 years of age. You know, I was, I was slightly too young to watch the X, X Files, but I still watched it, which I think is probably the best time to watch it. Is when you were slightly too young for it, but you still watched it. Um, and so obviously that got me onto all that, all that sort of stuff. And then I, I was, I, I used to, I, I was like 10. Maybe not. Maybe it was younger than ten. I'd have to check. But around about the time the X Files was out, and I was born in eighty two. You guys work it out. Uh, I'm gonna. Start I had a, I had a, I had a subscription. I was definitely the only kid in school which had a subscription to the Weekly World News, <laughs> and the, um, the uh, and that kind of got me in that way. But I remember the. I got pretty sort of when i when i first got the internet in the house and it got to that that thing where you could kind of watch video we're still buffering a little bit we weren't in broadband territory but youtube was in its infancy then as soon as i got like the, the first sort of slow broadband in the house and i could kind of stream youtube videos and i just sit there on sundays with a hangover watching it and i remember watching um david ike on his you know the 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 video documentary did where he just walked around London pointing out all the like the Masonic symbolism and stuff like that. Have you seen it? I think I have. Yeah, and then he kind of builds up and right at the very end, it's he hits you with the reptilian number. I remember like I, I was there watching going, Yeah, right, the the, the bloodlines and the and, and and the Masonic, yeah. Well, there's a compass there, there's definitely a compass. There's 33 blocks and that, right? I'm, I'm with you, David. And then he said the reptilian thing. I was like, hang on, hang on a second. What <laughs> can we just can we just skip back 30 seconds? What are we saying about this? <laughs> and, um, I, just yeah. felt, I felt he did that just to just to say, okay, I'm going to discredit myself. Please take I, what I said right up until that point. I think he was on a journey. I, 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 and I think the for whatever reason, like he he believes he's been chosen to do what he's doing. I find it dead interesting. Almost yeah. had I almost had um his son on the show, actually. Like we just we just kind of lost contact. I, I I'll try and I'll try and nudge him again. Uh, but the I think he was on a journey, and I think just like when he was on uh, Wogan, Wogan, Ro w yeah, Terry Wogan, yeah. Uh, I got confused then with me Rogans. Um, 
just like when he was on Wogan and he said he was um, Jesus, essentially, you know, for, for all mm-hmm. its intents and purposes, it referred to himself as a god, the Godhead, I think. I think he was dealing with, like, he was the first, like, he was, well, he, he well, one of the first, he was dealing with um, subjects and a type of philosophy that we hadn't really had for a while and he was trying to work that out in his own head and he's a fucking goalkeeper at the end of the day and he was trying to work all this stuff out he come fresh from the bbc god knows god knows what he knew was going on inside of that thing and that's one of the reasons i always find him more credible is because he Mm. got the fuck out of there Mm. um so trying to trying to break that down break that down his head and I think he's come up with these theories. And unfortunately, if you go turn around and say that the Queen's a lizard, you're probably going to get the finger pointed at you, and that theory is going to stick with you. Um, I don't know if he still believes that. I don't, but I think he. Uh, I think what it, he's he's been on it like on this journey of processing information, and that's the right writing a book's really fucking hard. Like I've got friends which have written books. It's really difficult, especially especially books like he writes, which is essential because they're going to get pulled apart first of all because it's David Icke. There's a, and there's a lot of like, historical information in there that has to make sense, even if it's even if it's to make sense to his own grift. You can't mm. do that sort of stuff if you're stupid. So he's clearly a highly intelligent guy. Held like Wembley Stadium for six hours. Or six yeah. or eight hours? It was eight hours. It was eight hours. Yeah. Two nights. Sold it out. Sold it out. Sold Wembley Stadium what was it? out. Hundred, hundred, hundred pounds a pop. Yeah, or something like that. Crazy, crazy stuff. Isn't that so? Isn't the the the? I I, I mean, I suppose it depends how many seats were uh, were closed off because you can make you can make venues smaller, but like the maximum capacity is like a hundred thousand or something ridiculous like that. Mm. Either way, like even if it was half, even if it was half capacity, fuck me. That's nearly the same population as my island. Um, so I, I th- there is a a warm place in my heart for David. I, I'd love yeah. to speak to him like that. He is he's one of my yeah. dream guests. Like I will I will one day, hopefully before because obviously he's not getting any younger. One day I'll have a, I'll have him on the show to do an interview with me, and that will be a, a very special moment for me. Um, the, the, the one thing he said that always stuck in my mind was was about he was telling the story about this woman he knew that was a doctor, and she had a stroke, and and he said normally the strokes they happen on the right side, mm. but he said she had the stroke on the left side. Yeah. And is it, is it a Bloods and Cribs thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> but he said her whole perception of us as humans was totally different. Like mm. we looked we looked different, our hands were elongated and the stuff he was saying about that. And it was like because you you remember that we don't really see what we see. Our, he's our the brain, first person. yeah, yeah, but he's the first person that essentially brought the simulation theory up. Although it's yes. in his, in his, his, his the idea of simulation theory, I think, is a more uh, esoteric idea of the uh, more magical, let's say, than a computer. But the, that whole idea of that we are a consciousness experiencing its, experience in itself, decoding information all around us, and that gives things solid like makes tables solid it puts cars on roads and it puts but boobies on ladies all of the things um i i can't remember anybody else starting to talk that way before him and that that's kind of like developed into simulation theory Mm. Mm. very very just my favorite quote from him is they have they have the solution. They just need the problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, I, it, was, uh, it was David Icke that I found out what the Hegelian dialectic was. 
you know, the whole problem reaction solution. Like it was, uh, I mean, for me at the time, the especially around like nine eleven, it was, um, you know, it, it it explained a lot for me because that's exactly what happened. There was a problem, people reacted, then there was a solution. Two years ago, there was a problem, people reacted, then we had a solution, maybe a final solution. Um, yeah, the mm. and he stayed pretty true, and that's the that's one thing. And I think the the the, the that's the best thing that's happened over the last two years is um. I think the guys that at least mean it, and I'm not saying he's right, but if it was, if he was going to flip flop, he'd have flip flopped then. Mm. You know, it would have been a case of, well, I'm a conspiracy theorist, but you know, you should probably go and do this thing because otherwise we're all going to die. Um, By my he seat. didn't. He didn't, <laughs> and he he stayed on the right side of history. Yeah. Yeah. And there, there was a good channel out there as well called um, The Scariest Movie Ever. I don't know if you guys know him, KJ. Um, no. He, back in the days, man, Jesus. I stumbled upon him because I'm a horror movie buff. So I used to watch on. Um, you remember back in the days you could watch horror movies on YouTube? Yeah, I think you could still can. And I was looking for a horror movie to watch when I was at work, and it comes up the scariest movie ever. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to watch it. And it turned out to be a docu documentary that KJ produced. And it was just basically the scariest movie, his life, the reality that we're living in. And it was very interesting. And I I followed this guy. Now he does I, – I, he's gone on to rumble because YouTube has really – because he was a he was a long time player, and you know how YouTube has become how it is it's now. Choke, it's choking everybody. You know, it's, yeah. So he's he's gone to Rumble now, and I I hope that he can talk the way he can he he used to talk. But mm -hmm. I didn't feel alone when I used to listen to that guy in my thoughts as yeah, well. He was another one. Who's the Australian guy as well? I can't put his, bring his name up. Um, Oh my god, he's quite famous. He's been like he's he's like under the Australian David Icke. Somebody must know in the comments for me. I think I, I think he, he left Australia. He left I Australia think, obviously during the troubles. Um, I think somebody might have wrote it. Alan could somebody might have wrote his name. I'm trying to see if it no, no Jordan Maxwell. Could it be? No, no, no. That's um, that's just Lane Maxwell's uh. Uh, no, not don't crook that Dundee. No, <laughs> Ross Coulthard. Dark Sky knows. Come on, Dark Sky. Uh, I oh god, Ye Egan, e Max, Max, e Max Egan, Max Egan. I think it's Max. It's definitely Egan. His surname is definitely Egan. I'm a I'm a big fan of that guy as well. But he 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 kind of got fucked on YouTube, I think as well. Um, see, I used to like. Did you ever watch back in the like old YouTube days? Guy was a complete fucking nutcase, but that um, Von Helton. Do you remember him? He had like really long, pointy fingernails. No, no. Oh, he was a real mental, mental case. I never believed a word that came out of his head. Um, <laughs> but the I, I would sit there and cook my dinner, and I I bring my I, I had one of those old plastic uni, unibony MacBooks. And uh, I would stick that on top of the bread bin, and I he would regale me with the wildest, wildest conspiracy theories known to man. And I cook my tea, and then I wouldn't believe a word of it, and then I I carry on with my day. And I that's what I really miss from yeah. from YouTube being the way it is. Yeah. I I miss the fucking craziness. And then eventually you you, you find people like Egan or Ike or. That that have uh, something worth listening to. Actually, I I I, I kind of think that Ike's probably he's probably at his most credible. Same with Alex Jones, you know. The, even with all the like the craziness going on with with the shooting and stuff like that and the court case, 
I think he 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 looks his most credible right now just because of how wild the world is. Mm. But all this was foretold, the, this world going crazy mm. by the aliens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you think there's a way out of it? Or do you think it's just going to keep getting crazier and crazier and crazier? Well, funny enough, I was talking we me and, me and my stepson. We have talks because being he's 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 twenty, so this is the world he's growing up in, mm. right? And we were talking about all this, and I said, you know, it's gone so far one way now that it's going to go back to the old school. It's going to, you know, people are going to get fed up because he's fed up of this um the agenda, mm. you know, the alphabet agenda with the rainbow flags and all that. Yeah, you know it's it's being too pushed now. I mean, everybody, you, you, everybody has got the rights to be who they are, but now that those, those rights for those people are being crammed down our faces. And if we seem to complain about it, we're some sort of phobic. You have the and, you have the, the right to be whatever you want to be, but if you if you want to have the right to not give a shit about it, you're a problem. That's right. That's right. And and then they call you names like a, you're phobic. And uh, to have a phobia means you're afraid of something. And mm. no one's afraid of it. We're just tired of hearing about it. Yeah. You know, we don't, we, you know, look at look at what happened with um, Bud, is it Bud Light? Bud Light, look what happened with that. And they, they, their, their sales have plummeted because they had to jump on a bandwagon when they didn't have to. So I, I, I personally feel that it's going to go what they're doing is they're building up some sort of hatred where, you know, you're frightened to say anything now. So you're just people are, it's going to be the old days where you put on your doc Martins <laughs> and just, you know, went and did certain things that you shouldn't do. And I'm not condoning that, but do you know, there's, I, I have, I had a theory about this and I might be, I might be completely wrong, but I, Right, you we constantly we'll go try and we'll try and work out how I can say this on YouTube. We constantly talk about you know that forum thing, you know that the the world of the economies one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the um, we can we're constantly saying like the your head guy there uh, he had Nazi um, mm. Nazi connections like with his parents and stuff like that, and the the the. Lots of people believe that this might be like the an extension of that. The there's there's people that I know that, uh, in fact, Madchad uh, Noirs believes that what we're in now is essentially like we're, we're, we're living through a Nazi plan. And the uh, his his thing was that the um, the Nazis never lost the war; they just became part of the United States through Project Paperclip. Mm. Um, I don't believe, if that's the case, that Nazis, proper Nazis, would be on board with, like, story time and stuff like that. Mm. So could it be that there is, that this is a, like, a military-style psyop, and it's aimed at us and we don't realize it's aimed at us? Because they want they want people. Because like, I've never considered myself right wing. I, I all the way grown up like the the never. I've never given a fuck about who who wants to have sex with each other. I've never given a fuck about what color people are. The mm. I just it's so fucking beyond me. I don't care. I've, like I, I don't understand it. The um, but what they've managed to do is take people like me, which are like pretty liberal, probably would have. Uh, I'd have, I would, I'd, have, I'd have been like left wing 2008, then slowly probably drifted to more center, center left. But now they've pushed me to the point where my views are right wing views. So are they creating an enemy to a point gets so bad with between the uh, like expansion of far left liberal liberal views to like people starting to worry about immigration which the, the the immigration thing has been poked for ages that we will vote in a real right wing government 
like a like a proper and that will be the rise that will be the the rise of a real right wing then people will fucking know what fucking right wing is right wing mm. isn't turning around and saying i'm not too fucking happy about nigel and her dress telling my daughter a story in school that's mm. not right wing that's just you mm. saying i don't like that mm. like right wing is where people start saying no no what we should do is we, we should get them and we should stop them being alive and um i that's fucking awful don't get me wrong but that's kind of what I think is being pushed. Is that we? Are, yeah, that's that's exactly how I see it. That we're going to go so far. We're going to overcorrect. We're going to overcorrect. And this this mm. has been, been my worry all along. Is that um, right now we've Ooh, overcorrected. Me. We've mm. overcorrected on the uh, on the left. Um, what, what what agenda? My agenda is free speech. My agenda is to say that we should be able to say and feel what we like. You understand? That's my agenda. And if that upsets you, then that's your problem, not mine. I think he's well, welcome to the show's pre pretty based. I think he might be just saying that as a joke, to be fair. But the oh, I, um... I didn't see no smiling emoji emojis. So if you're joking, <laughs> then you're joking. But it still stands. It still stands that yep. your triggers are your triggers, not mine. You know, we supposed to live in a free society where we can exchange thoughts and ideas. And if if what I think isn't right for me, no, it's not joking. There you go. There you go. So that that's your problem. Then I told you, I just want to I just want to have a platform where we can talk about things openly and discuss it. And the last thing I want is some dude in a dress reading stories to my kid. Mm -hmm. That confuses them. You understand? If they're if they're if they're of an age like sixteen, that's that's they can make their own minds, and it being a being a teenager or a child, it's pretty confusing as it is. It's a confusing time, but try and remember that when you was a kid. Welcome to the show. Remember that one, wasn't it a confusing time when you was a child? Young or are you still a child? I, I you know I, I really don't know, and I don't care what your triggers are because they're not mine. You know I will I, think, I will I think be who I am. That's the main thing. Like true, true liberalism is just allowing everybody else to live as they are. That's it. But that, but that, and that, that, but that shouldn't mean if I, if, if, if I want to have like a particular, like a conservative household or a conservative, like Christian household, I should be able to do that. If I, you know, if I'm a, a Muslim, I should be able to be able to do that as well. You know, the it, it shouldn't matter to other people and right now that's what um that's what i'm confused by is things seem to matter they seem if people seem to matter mm -hmm. more about what other people are doing and it's I mean. and it's it, it's very but but again this this is something that is done in um and we'll probably we'll probably have to fucking knock this knock the subject off anyway just yeah, yeah. where we're talking about it um but the this is the problem is because there is um oh, we've worked ourselves into a position where the mere bringing up of a topic or the use of a word and not like not like really offensive words i just mean the the certain trigger words or certain trigger conversations is probably a better way of putting it oh, well, that you, I, that you, I, you I, can't I, thank you yeah, but you you can't um, uh, you can't speak about things. I know, and that's and that, the problem because you've got such, that's you, where I'm at. it's so heavily weighted on one side in mainstream media. It's and then it's so heavily censored on platforms like this that you worry about what you're going to say, and that breeds contempt. Mm. Mm. So we, we, there's no way around that. Then maybe and, maybe. Maybe it's like what Albert Pike said. You remember the, the Albert Pike letters? Did you ever come across those? No, no. The way he said, you said that you have to so because basically the fight will happen amongst us. Mm. We will fight each other. Yeah. And then they will come and mop up what's left. That's it. That, that you know, that's the, the you divide. Look, look what's happened. We have we have now divided um, sexes. We've divided the we've d divided race. 
and now we're dividing gender. Like we've 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 div- every, every aspect that there's like there's a club for everybody to be in, and every one of those cl- clubs can argue with each other for a myriad of reasons. Mm-hmm. And that you know it's I, that, see that that's something to to drag it to drag it back into. No, I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm old school. I, no, I'm no, really no. old school. So I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry about my opinions. Just like how welcome to the show is, and that's a nice way to end it. Thank you. I mean, yeah. we can. We can disagree with each other, but not be disagreeable, and yeah. that's 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 cool. Um, the but the the thing is, I think we've got a load of things to distract us. I don't know what they're distracting us from, and something. Mm. But I I, mm. I think the um I think the UFO thing being plugged is something to distract. Like a certain section of the population, I think that like the the way flat Earth like ignited. I don't think that's an accident. I think that's there as a as a distraction to distract a, like another chunk of people. It's busy work. Yeah. We're we're given busy work. Maybe maybe it's to distract us from what's really going on with the economy and the shitter. And it's not just us. It's the yeah. whole world's economy, except for Russia. Their economy is getting stronger. <laughs> I mean, look! Look today, they're they're talking about trying to sanction their diamonds. Well, I'm I'm what like I've been saying for a long time before it was obvious. Yeah, you know, before there was the discussions with Elon Musk and bots and stuff like that. I've I've been saying for quite a while, like years, that social media was being used by foreign adversaries or or internally by 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 by, by, by government to. Uh, um, to destabilize the population and like move it in various ways. I think that's um, to go back to what you said before about the um, stuff for schools and things. I think that's huge on TikTok. A like, huge. Now you go on TikTok in China where the apps comes comes from. It's fucking lovely. You know it, the it's educational. It's like family building, all that sort of stuff. You go on, you uh, you go on TikTok in the West, and it is like I I love TikTok. Don't get me wrong, I can spend fucking far too long going through those videos, but I also know I'm being fucking manipulated when I do it, and I think that's that's the thing. Unless you're unless you're in that sort of conspiracy space, you don't realize you're being fucking manipulated, and even and I must be being manipulated as well. Do you know what I mean? It's not. I'm not fucking impervious to these things, but at least I know that the the direction of bullshit is coming my way through these apps. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. I'm not on TikTok, but I just. I shouldn't say that. I have a TikTok account. It's weird, but I don't watch it. I posted. Yeah. I posted two videos on there just to keep keep it alive. To to let let the powers be know that I'm there. Uh, yeah, sorry, I was just trying. I, I was just reading comments there. Um, I think the I don't know what we're reading here. Sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm just getting distracted. Oh. Getting distracted, but it was a part yeah. of it. it to the, I know. To the We're yeah. going everywhere. We're going everywhere. <laughs> but um, I think it's it's probably a decent time. It's probably a decent time to close the doors on it. To be perfectly honest, we have we've we've gone two hours. We've uh, we've had a wonderful yeah. time. I've had a great time. And I must apologize if my views offended. I that's not my oh, that's not I my don't... goal to offend. I I do believe in live and let live. And, you know, I honestly do. I don't. I think there's there's something we can all agree on with this is that in order for in order for those things that happen we need government like th- there needs to be government approval and there needs to be government regulation of these things and I don't believe I I, I personally believe that the um uh the government if for anyone that's got a young child will know this I think ch- schools have far too much say in the upbringing of children as it is when it comes to school attendance and things like that don't get me wrong i realize some children need protected sometimes it's the majority of people the majority of people are good parents that are just trying to bring the kids up properly that don't need they they don't need to walk into a school and feel like they uh 
they, they they're like the they feel like they have a third parent in the education system. Well, they, um, they are the parent. In most <laughs> cases, you, they spend more time. More time, you, kids go go to school more times than they go do a thing. May anyone listen to this? Fucking spend time with your kids. Put your phone down. Put put. Make sure they're not on a phone all the time mm-hmm. because the if. If they if if they come if they're coming into contact with stuff that and I don't even just mean that what we were talking about before, but if they are coming into contact with um, people or views that you don't think are good for them, then you're wasting your time because you need to set yourself up as being a trustworthy like entity in their lives. If you're not a trustworthy entity, then they're going to take the next trustworthy entity that comes along. And chances are, chances are that's not gonna, they're not gonna care about your child as much as you do. But, um, sorry, I've di- digressed that, but that's it's kind of where we are. Um, I, uh, I, I hope want, I, I just want my kid just to have fun, you know, just to have fun, be, have a not be, be, and grow up to be a good person whatever she chooses in this world yeah just to be good and be honest to herself well that's it um footy gang sent are you on saturday you talking to me mate no there's no saturday show the uh, there's a sunday show if you mean the sunday show the sunday show is absolutely going ahead um i can tell you what we're going to be talking about on the sunday show because i have gone and read, and I and Dave have gone and read um, them by Whitley Strieber over the co- over the course of the last week. Um, I'm just going to say we've read it, so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're going to have a little bit of a Strieber. Um, Saved inter- you 1995. <laughs> yeah, interesting book. <laughs> In, but more and more importantly, there again, more stuff that we're going to be able to talk better about on Rockfin. But um, some of the people he brings up in that book are quite questionable, like really, really questionable people. He gives some credit to uh, in politics. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So that will be Sunday show, nine o'clock UK time, like normal. Um, like I say, keep an eye on Rockfin. I'm going to try and get one of the first exclusive press shows up next week. If it's not next week, it'll be the week after. Uh, Hidden Underbelly, give the people what they can get from you and where they can get it. You know who I am, man. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I can say. And I mean, just just keep, you know, I can't say what's happening next because I don't know myself. Oh, I do know. I, I have got a video of some orbs in the sky. So. Yeah, that's that's going to be my next is that, video. Is that the yeah. laser pointy one? I've seen a lazy pointy one, which was pretty cool. No, no, I just got this one today. He's just he's giving me the go ahead about oh, nice. about three hours ago. So I'll be working on that video tomorrow. That's about it. Mm. That's um, about it, man. But you know, I'm on YouTube, so check me out. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. If I if I one second, just to plug my social media sites because. Oh, Even so, sometimes when I'm not posting on YouTube, I do come across interesting um, pictures or even just a joke. So check me out on Facebook. I'm also on Discord. If you love memes, <laughs> me me and this other guy, we, we love memes, so we just post them on Discord. So I'm also on Discord and uh, Twitter, I believe. Hmm. But don't check me out on, on TikTok because I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> uh we we are there you can go you can go and check alien addict out on uh um on tiktok i think we're uh, our friend Stuart little is going to do more shorts and clips for us so Thank hopefully you. with a with a bit of a with a bit of luck there will also be an alien addicts clips channel that you can subscribe to soon that so that them you know if you can't watch three hours Maybe we can just give you the fucking beats. Um, <laughs> other than that, I'm fucking awful. I keep saying other than that, I'm fucking terrible at like ending shows. I always, I like, it's more of a meme on Sundays where I'll just 
end shows dead abruptly, but it feels weird doing it on the Friday show because it's not, it should be Ollie doing it. Um, I don't even know what button to press. Bye. Thanks for Thank listening, you. guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Much love. All of it. Stay All blessed. Of Stay, Stay blessed and keep safe. Stay blessed. I think you've got to do that when you do it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>